Welcome back. Today is meal planning Monday. Again, this is week four, not eight, four. <laughs> so are you liking these um, meal planning videos? Um, leave in the comments below if you're getting anything out of them, if you like them, if you don't. I like doing them because I kind of do it anyway. And so it's making me even um, more aware of planning and buying and using up all the ingredients and making sure that I do that. So it's helping me do a better job of um, not wasting food, basically. All right, so I had a request and I'm going to do these in stages. You know, I showed you my pantry. I'm going to show you my freezer this week. And what did I do? You know, I have the pantry uh, list. And that's everything that's up over my dinette. So that's up mostly the canned goods. I've got some rice up there and some oatmeal. And refried beans. I buy the dehydrated refried beans. And I just keep, because we eat that a lot. Um, nachos, bean burritos, breakfast burritos, things like that. So um, I just keep that stocked all the time. I made a list of everything that's in my freezer. And yes, I have a, see my freezer? I have a big freezer. So um, this is everything that's in my freezer currently. And um, so I've been starting to defrost some stuff. We're on shore power again, so I'm going to be using the um, air fryer a lot more in the crock pot. Getting ready for Cocoa Fest, so I'm going to be doing a lot of cooking to prepare for that starting this week. So um, I separated my refrigerator. So when I'm going to go look for something, top shelf, bottom shelf, and the door. So I found in there when I was cleaning it out and looking at it, I found in there a roll of hamburger meat that I didn't realize that I had. And um, you know, I thought I was out of butter last week. Well, I found three sticks, so now I have four sticks of butter. So I didn't need to buy butter this week. So that's a good thing. Um, so let me just flip you around, show you how packed my freezer is, and start with the um, this week's meal plan. Okay, here's my freezer. And next week, I'll show you in my fridge. Because <laughs> it's big too. See, it's a big fridge. And, you know, in my 11-foot truck camper, this is a big refrigerator and freezer, and I use every inch of it. Yeah, it's packed. So, you're going to see a lot um, of this. this. is not a lot, but I've got some pork shoulders I'm going to prepare for Cocoa Fest so we can just snack, grab it, and go because we're going to be super busy. Um this is going to be, this is tomato sauce or spaghetti sauce. I can't remember which. So it's going to become pizza sauce. And then if there's any left over, I'll make some spaghetti with that. But um, here's my I have four sticks of butter. And so, yeah, it's pretty full. I showed you this is how I um, decided to break up my freezer so when i go to look for something it's either on the top shelf or the bottom shelf and i also when i put it in the freezer i normally date anything that i package um, i normally date it so i can look at some dates here and go oh i should probably cook that like this cooked pulled pork <laughs> i have two small uh baggies of leftovers that we had one was dated May of 24, and one was dated uh, June of 24. So I could pull both of those out and make um, one meal with that. So you're going to watch me pull things out of here and also put things in. So this is it's a working pantry. Okay, let's get started. All right. So... Like I said before in some of my other videos that I go through my pantry list, I go through my freezer list, it's all in my head, but now it's all on paper, and I start planning meals based on that. And then hopefully I don't have to go to the store for 
a whole lot of things. So um, this week, Cocoa Fest is coming up, but I'm going to do some meal planning. I might even get an extra um, meal planning video in there just for planning Cocoa Fest and cooking Cocoa Fest food. Because I decided I'm going to go ahead and cook prior to Cocoa Fest, so um, I won't have to be doing it during it and trying to find time to 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 cook. So, um, but anyway, this week, that's here nor there. <laughs> um, this week we're going to have Mississippi. How do you spell Mississippi? M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S -S -I, -S -I, I just want to do that because I haven't done that in a hundred years. Um, pot roast. In the refrigerator, I have some of those. These? <laughs> like Peppercini that I need to use up, so I'm gonna do that. Um, I don't even know how you spell that, peppuccinis. Those pepper things. And I have the au jus, au jus. I know that's not how you, sp and ranch, I think that's ranch. I have those on hand. So I bought a roast and <laughs> I'll tell you a little bit about that roast and the other roast that was on sale right now. All right, I'm going to show y'all the ad this week. And I was not able to go to Albertsons. And um, I want to show you <clears throat> the ad at Albertsons for this roast right here. Sammy's going to get a drink. Three seventy-seven a pound. For the super value pack. And now I want to show you what I bought at Walmart. <laughs> I was a week. A one week premature. <laughs> on getting. The roast. But anyway. Sometimes that happens. And I was going to go back and go ahead and get this. But I never could get back to. Albertsons. And anyway. I did want to show you that. I missed this one. <sighs> missed that deal. Sometimes I miss them. $6.47 a pound. All right, now that we're back, and <laughs> I missed that sale by that much. Just a few days. I should have waited. Oh, well. We digress. Okay, I have... I'm going to make which I've never done this, chili, green chili, green chili, Riano, casserole. I've never done it in my oven. I'm thinking, why not? Why not do it? And if you didn't know, it's in this recipe book. On page, I have four recipes in this book. You can get it on Amazon. Um... Here. So it's in this book. You can get the recipe there. So I'm going to make it actually um, in the oven. And I'm going to buy some avocados. Going to make some guac. Guacamole. So avocados. Um, I bought that sriracha. So I don't need any like salsa or hot sauce. Um, 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 I need some cheese. I want some Monterey Jack cheese. And then I'm out of just regular cheese, so I'm going to get Colby or whatever. I always have it on hand, but it ran out. Made some bean dip, homemade bean dip, and ran out of cheese. So I need, oh, and I need this. No. See, I get confused. You think I'd know. This is stuff I need to buy. That is what I need to buy. Um, what do I need out of the freezer? Ha! Look at this. Oops. In the freezer, I have... So this list helped me so much. Here is the um, chilies. The, I have... 
saved um, from opening a can of whole green chilies. I'm going to use that. I don't know when I put it in there, so I'm going to use that. And I already have some cooked taco meat. Wait, I have cooked taco meat, and I have cooked hamburger meat, which is older. Let's use this one, because I'm going to make taco meat out of it anyway. So, cooked, those two things are coming out of the freezer. So, the chilies and taco meat. I didn't get leave me enough room, did I? That's coming out of the freezer. So guacamole. And we will definitely have leftovers. So Wednesday is leftovers of the Rianos. Rianos. Okay. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. It's Thursday, Thursday. Um, it's time for homemade pizza. <laughs> I get so excited. And I'm going to call this loaded. Because sometimes we have pizza with just pepperoni. And that's it. But I'm craving a loaded veggie pizza. Well, I'm going to have pepperoni. So it's going to be pepperoni. Uh, onions. Sammy's trying to get comfortable in bed. Black olives. Uh, and mushrooms. I'm going to do a... Here in a minute you'll see I'm going to do some sautéed mushrooms. And um, so I'm going to put some on to my pizza. So what do I need to buy? I need to buy mushrooms. It's warm in here. And Sammy's like, oh, would you turn the air conditioner back on? Pepperoni and black olives. I'm going to go to Dollar Tree and see if I can't get the small can of black olives. And if they have pepperoni, sometimes they do. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Next... Hamburger patties. We do this pretty often. And this is where I'm going to do the sautéed mushrooms. Sautéed. Sautéed mushrooms. And once again, that's coming out of this recipe book too, Dan. The Dan Van has a recipe in here. Not that one. 23. Sauteed mushrooms. So I'm going to make this recipe to go with just our hamburger patties. So I thought that would be good. So I'm going to use uh, mushrooms here and mushrooms here. And of course I'm going to probably use them all here, the sauteed. If, uh, I'm trying to think if I have any leftover. Wait a minute, I need sauce here. I'm just going to take that sauce, uh, spaghetti sauce, spaghetti sauce. I'm moving too fast here. That we need to buy. This we need to take out of the freezer. Um, hamburger patties. We need to take it out of the freezer. And one thing I do need to mention. My freezer is packed, but Deborah's didn't. So that chicken that I bought the other day for a dollar a pound, all of that went into her freezer. So I, in my mind, I need to have a column over here what's in Deborah's freezer because I'll forget about it if I don't um, write it down. So the hamburger patties, I don't have any in mine, but we have hamburger patties in Deborah's fr freezer, so I'll need to take those out. All right, Saturday I'm going to cook a tuna casserole. Tuna noodle casserole. Um, 
I have forgotten that I do have some um, canned goods that were not up in my pantry that I'd pulled because they're out of date. And so that's where this is coming in because I have a can of tuna. <laughs> it's lost its label. But um, February 23. So I need to use that up. And this chicken, cream of chicken, is the same. 2023. So I'm going to make tuna casserole so I can use these two ingredients. And I already have the spaghetti. I'm not going to buy noodles. I'll just buy, uh, use the angel hair pasta that I have. So um, all I need to go with this is cheese. I have some frozen peas in the freezer. So I might throw some of that in there. And if I have any mushrooms left over, throw them in there. Um, I have everything else for that. So spaghetti, the tuna, the chicken. Um, I got a little piece of Velveeta that, I mean, just like this little square. I'm going to throw it in there too. And then Sunday, 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 leftovers. Tuna casserole. All right. Okay, we are back from the store. It's kind of dark in here. And I got two sacks for this week's meal plan. Went to Dollar Tree to pick up a couple of things and then went to Walmart. And I had... Someone asked, I think Renee asked about, do I keep track of what I, what I buy and how much and if I keep it in the binder or how do I do it or whatever. And no, I really don't, but I may start just because that's a concept too, huh? Okay, this is what I picked up at Dollar Tree. The only thing that was not on my meal planning list is the Parmesan and the garlic. I uh, didn't have any um, minced garlic, and I like to keep that in the refrigerator. So I got went ahead and got pepperoni there, a um, dollar twenty-five, obviously for all this. And um, this jar is bigger than the last time I bought pineapple. It was in this size, but I will go ahead and eat this for breakfast. Um, I like fruit for breakfast, so what I don't put on my pizza. I'll, eat for breakfast and uh this was not on my list but i wanted it with my pizza um we were told the last time we went to domino's and we asked for parmesan cheese they said we don't give it out anymore because somebody sued them for something <laughs> so i used to just save them and then when i wanted it i would um use the the ones from the pizza places but I don't know if all pizza places are doing that now or if it's just the one way we're at. I don't know. But anyway, what did I spend at Dollar Tree? I spent a $6.25 for all of this. Okay, <clears throat> this is what I got from Walmart. Um, I got two avocados for the guacamole and the when I make the chili Riano casserole, I wanted Monterey Jack. I'll use part of both of these cheeses to make that dish. Um, I was almost out of W sauce. I won't even try to say it. So I went ahead and <clears throat> bought another bottle. I'll probably use up what I have because I'm going to be making some of the pork shoulder. That's not in this week's. Part of next week's meal plan. I'm going to make my own barbecue sauce. So I went ahead and bought it um, this week. My uh, tortillas and mushrooms. And I bought this big ba uh, batch of mushrooms. Because I'm going to use it in two, maybe three recipes. Um, so I wanted to. And I didn't want the slice because they seem to go bad faster. So I went ahead and got the whole... And I'll just slice them myself. Alright, so what did this cost me? This cost me $15.20. Um, 
All right, almost time to put this in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. 